welcome to Truggy Trogs Let's Play Dungeons and Dragons Online. This is a continuation of Delirious Part 2. Uh, or the Delirious Chain, I should say. This is Part 2, the missing party. Enter in on Elite. Okay, a um, couple of quick things I wanted to show you before we start the quest. Uh, when you get this quest, you're given an item. <laughs> It's called Club of the Holy Flame. This item, uh, this weapon is less well made than normal, giving a minus one penalty to attack and damage rolls. It's basically a junk item. It's kind of, I guess, a gag item. It does give you the DR uh, benefit of bypassing uh, DR for good and bludgeoning uh, defenses, so it, uh, the weapon will um, work against evil skeletons, basically. Um, so, just that real quick fun item. Um, it's a junk item that a lot of people like to link to each other. It's kind of like a, a tongue-in-cheek kind of joke in the game. Um, it is a permanent item, though. You can keep it. You can uh, sell it and do all kinds of things with it. So, uh, generally, you just, you just link it to people and say, Hey, look at that. Look what I got. Um, okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to bring in um, hirelings. The reason is, you at least need one hireling for this quest if you want to solo it. Because you will have to be able to pull levers that you can't access unless somebody else is in another area that you can't get to. You know, it's like, it's kind of like you pull the lever and they run, or they pull the lever and you run through this tunnel that has several doors. Kind of like the get smart doors. The doors open and another one closes, another one opens, another one closes. So, um, the lever's a... Uh, a back and forth kind of thing. You pull it, it opens the first door, it closes the second door, you pull it again, it closes the second door, opens the first door and the third door, you know, and so forth, you know. So you have to like inch your way through this hallway by having somebody pull a lever. So that's why we have a hireling. But I'm going to have two hirelings because there's a trick I want to show you guys. I don't know if anyone's ever done this. I'm sure somebody else probably has. It's a trick that I figured out how to do, but it's really kind of, it's just a touchy one. You need uh, most likely two hirelings to do it. I've done it with one hireling before, but it's really hard. Um, two hirelings, it works a lot better. So it's this trick will be um, to get to the other Omarans that if you're soloing the quest without a hireling um, up to that point, you're just not going to be able to do this. So uh, as far as I know, so. I wanted to let you know uh, that, and that's the reason why I brought them. Also, one other real quick thing is um, there are two items that um, are connected to the Dungeon Masters. That is Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson. Gary Gygax's item is the Voice of the Master. You get that one from running this chain at the end reward, quest chain reward list. You can choose the Voice of the Master. Most people do because it's a very sought after item. It basically grants you a plus 5% bonus to your experience points when it's equipped. Um, and there's an old saying that's basically an established saying in this game for a long time. When you get towards the end of a quest and you know it's about to be completed and you're going to get your full XP for the quest, um, you say, everyone got their voices on? <laughs> and then you put your voice on. Um, so it's just something that... It's kind of a tradition with Dungeons & Dragons Online. Um, and then the other item that goes with it is the Mantle of the World Shaper. It's a cloak that you get for running the Threnal Chain. Um, it's one of the items that you can choose in the end reward list. So you take that, and you take that, and you equip them both, and you get True Seeing. DM's Vision, it's called. With the two optional Dungeon Masters, or sorry, with the two original Dungeon Masters guiding you, you can see through most illusions and trickery. You are under the effects of the True Seeing spell. Now, I have True Scene. You see me use that as a buff, so I don't need to use that. But, um, it's just a pretty cool thing, especially at low level. It's really nice. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and buff up. We're going to have her play a song. Uh, it's a bard song. And she plays with her sword for some silly reason, because the animation is really bad. <laughs> but, uh, that song discounts my spells a little bit, so I figure my, why not? I like it. You can save some money, right? Okay. 
Now I want to turn these off. Basically, this is, this is the park mode, and then this is the turn off mode here. And I'm going to have her haste. Basically, when they're turned off like that, they won't, um, you know, get in a fight. They won't get themselves in trouble. That's kind of why I do that. Um, I'll leave them there, and when I need them, I can just call them to me. I guess because we have radios, I don't know how they know. They just know. You hear the now familiar sound of bone clattering against stone up ahead. Now this quest, um, yeah, you notice that that's a different DM again. There seems to be like an alternation of, uh, uh, of DMs, like you, know, you have they alternate between. You notice a rusty lever uh, behind the grate to the side of the hall. You know, Gary Gygax, and I don't know the other DM's voice, but he narrates a lot of the dungeons in the game. Especially the older content. Quest out in the harbor, Corpos, I think. Um, marketplace, you know, the house J, the house P, the house D quest, a lot of them. You know, the standard free to play quest, basically. I think he does some of the house K ones as well. Okay, we have one more. These these are just levers that correspond to those gems up there, and then when you pull them, they open the door, and this gate will shut ahead of us. Um, now, the thing to do is to kill the archers first, I believe. If you kill the archers, the door will open up quickly, uh, quickly, but if you don't kill the archers, that's another kobold, kobold style, uh, Skeleton. Kobolds in this game are notorious for climbing up walls backwards like that. They'll just jump up a wall and stick up like Spider-Man. Um, so we kind of call those the kobold skeletons. But um, anyway, um, I guess the first thing I want to do is kind of clear this whole area out. So one thing I want to do is light this once. Get rid of the guys that spawn here. There's also one over here that we need to keep off. Um, it's lit right now, but we want to turn it off. We'll leave it lit for now. Um, we're going to need that to open up a door later. This here, the K lever, opens up the... Um, uh, yeah, vaporize those guys, I guess. Uh, that opens up the shrine, and I think when you pull that lever, these guys spawn. And there's also an arcane guy down here. But yeah, if you, in this room, if like I said, uh, if if you don't kill the archers first, if you kill like the other guys, if you get them in the wrong order, this bar, this gate will stay shut for like a minute, two minutes. And you'll just sit there and wait. There's nothing else to do. There's you just gotta wait. <laughs> so uh, if you want to kind of speed the quest up, not have to deal with it, kill the archers first, and then the uh, the melees. It took us a long time to figure that one out. We always, we always try to figure out, like, why are these, why is this gate, you know, staying shut? When you're in a group, uh, especially, it becomes more problematic because um, the group uh, generally kills everything on sight and with with no discrimination. So, <laughs> so I'm going to show you real quick. You have a Y lever, and then this is an A lever, and then a Y lever, uh, and another A. Now the rear A, there's four doors, so the rear A is open. The Y lever has these other ones open because it's lit, but the A, um, because it's lit, closes this first one. So you have to have it unlit to get to the first one, then lit to get through the second one. But by yourself, you can see how that's pretty much not going to happen. Because if I click this, right, and I go back down there, you know, the A one, I can get through the first one, right? Sure, I can get through that one because it's lit now, but I can't get through the other one because it's closed. So how do I do that, right? That's why I brought two hirelings with me. Now, you can do it with one hireling, but two it will work better for this trick. Um, just because it's really tough to get the hirelings to do what you want them to do in this game. So, um, at least detailed, specific little things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call them both to me. Say, it. come on, guys, and there they are. Um, so that's cool that they teleport. Sometimes they don't teleport right away. All right, so what we're gonna do is bring 
So, pants are over here. And we're gonna walk them. Walka? Walka? I'm gonna walk them up here. <laughs> okay, I think that's gonna be good. Let's see. Yeah. See, as long as that circle doesn't interact with this, we're good. Okay, and then we need her to come over here. Like I said, you can do this probably with one. I've done it before with one hireling. It's really hard to do. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think we're just good. There's just enough of a gap there. Okay, now make sure they're off. Now we got to get this thing set right so that as soon as she touches it, it'll go off. Now, there is a pattern to this. So I'm going to show you. It turns on, right? And the moment it turns off, you have two more steps on it. So you go one, two, and then when she steps on it, it'll turn it on. So I click on him, hard target him, and I get her to get ready to guard him. And uh, actually, it'll be this one here. So that's her hot bar. So she's hot, hot targeted or uh, hard targeted to him. Um, using my targeting system and then I swim down below and hope that this works it could work it might not work we'll see okay should be good enough yep it worked beautiful <laughs> alright as soon as we get up here there's a lever that opens up those permanently so you don't have to worry about it once you get back here so target them and then I'll say hey guys um, come on over here and you guys can just stay here for now and I'll leave them off they don't need to be on mode um, but I will have her do this and why not one of these and then I will turn this off so we don't have to see all that silly AI uh, or UI I'm sorry user interface and hotbar stuff so that's uh, one of the tricks. Right, I'm gonna jump off this ladder real quick because I forgot about that guy. It's one of the rare uh, dudes that's down here. This is, this is another one here. I'm like Superman, just flying through, zapping everything, right? And this is another guy. It's another Omar. So that's a couple of the optionals right there that we got. Oops, we got one more. Is everybody. It's everybody on that side. I think you can get these guys in one blast usually. Yep. Okay. And for all that work, we get a little reward. We get a chest. There. Now I won't need the hirelings again, at least only need one of them actually but I won't need them again until a little bit later there is a uh, spot that you absolutely need them this spot here is optional you do not have to do this part to do the quest it's just if you want to get everything done and cover every base then you have to kind of go through there um, in this game um, you can only summon one regular hiring the ones you buy with platinum like the in-game currency um, at a time, uh, you can only have one summon at a time per character. So if you're soloing this, you'll need to figure out the trick to make it work with just one hireling for that part I just showed you, um, or you'll have to uh, have a gold seal hireling. Um, the reason I have that Onyx Panther is I got that with the uh, when they launched the Forgotten Realms part of the game. This, this game set in Ebron, um, and then they have like a uh, kind of a quest line that takes you over the Forgotten Realms through a portal kind of thing. Um, and when they did that, if you pre-ordered that pack and it came out, you would be able to get your, your uh, able to get the Onyx Panther. Okay, so this guy's spawning up there, but okay, let's uh, let's do this optional while we're at it. Got her, got her wand here. Just, hopefully it'll work. I've got a second one. This one runs out of charges. The second one should appear in the hotbar instantly. Wow. A 12 isn't good enough. See, I have a UMD check and then the actual roll for this. So there's like two rolls to see if I can make a success on this. I'm rolling like we did the other night when we were playing on some paper. Wow. Okay. 
Okay. Done that part. collectible there. That was one uh, optional there, and then there's another guy here. So. And I think I vaporized him. Yeah, curse your souls, he says. <laughs> oh, goggles of wizardry. That seems like a nice thing. Right. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. This is a pretty long quest, so and it's actually worth a lot of XP. So uh, this quest, um, if you don't go for all the optionals, or if you have a group that can split up and cover the ground a little bit faster, you can actually uh, uh, get this quest done pretty quickly, probably like in about you know five to five to ten minutes. Um, but I wanted to show you some of these optionals because some of them are really tricky. Uh, and if you don't know how to do it and you don't know what to expect. Then Things. This is a trapped area. If you get your way over there, you can... oh, I did take some damage there. It's funny. The idea is not to get by the acid, <laughs> but I did. Uh, but at low levels, you don't usually have enough hit points to survive that on elite. Um, at least both of them. But you, you basically nudge the corner, and uh, it sets it off without you getting hit. If you do it right. But I didn't do it right, so oh well. Didn't matter, I still got to the chest. Um, it's a one time trap, so it's not a real big deal. Just in case anybody chases me, I'll have a blade barrier there for him. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of blast through this now. Up some time here. Okay, this one here is the eye lever or uh, platform. You can touch that panel and it'll open up for this door once you kill everybody. Oh, let me try this instead. I think I'm out of turn on deads. There we go. Alright, um, this is the room where you need the hireling. This lever, watch me pull it, it opens up that door on the other side, but see it closes the one behind it. Now watch, I'll pull it again, and it'll close the one in front. So, just so you know how that works. Oh, that guy actually survived. Okay, so we'll bring our hirelings to us here. And cool, we'll teleport right away, that's good. We'll park the Onyx Panther and we'll bring her over here. And we'll have her use that lever. Basically, um, I'll just hit this interact button again. She'll use that. I'll go through. She'll use that. I'll go through. She'll use that. I'll go through. And then I use turn of dead. Use those guys. And we can park her. I don't think we need to use her anymore. So yeah, I think she's good. So go ahead and pull this one. Oh, that was weird. They spawned and then didn't spawn. Okay. So we can leave them there. And we'll head up to uh, the next area here. There's a shrine here. I probably will use it just to get my turn on deads back, so just, you know, it'll make the, the last end part of it go really fast because I can just kind of blast more turn on deads. 
I mean, I have plenty of spell points to just nuke them, but I turn on deads is just fun. Because you just vaporize them. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do a real quick buff. Okay, now that I'm Superman again, we'll uh, turn our aura. We're gonna go up here first, just fight these guys out. Get rid of that caster. And then there's a bunch of guys that will spawn here too. Perfect, got them all. Alright. Bring our hot bar up again, and we'll use our wand. And there we go, we got it. Second try, it's not too bad. Oh, I got it there, I guess. Okay. All right. This is an unlocked chest, so we don't have to knock it. Get a little loot from that, and we move on. Okay, there is a secret door here. This is one of the Omarans that we needed to get. Let's vaporize that guy. And I think that completed all the Omarans that we needed. Just a lot of that trash spawn in here. How about this for you? Aha. Alright. Labor up here. So I know that went by really fast. That's the Delira Omarin. Um, basically, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was really it died really fast. Um, there's a little collectible here. Um, this treasure bag, and then this is the treasure bag. It's actually a book that you need to get for this quest to be completed. So we'll grab that in a second. Um, so it's in the chest here. Yeah, returning throwing axes. That's kind of cool. Um, alright, so this would be the part where everyone would say, uh, get your voices on, and then you'd click on your voice of the master and you'd get your extra 5%. You've recovered Jail's journal, which describes the last moments in the church's investigation. Well, um, that's Delira's part two, uh, the missing party, and uh, next time we'll be doing Delira's part three. So, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.